um, hot water if you can, um, but otherwise we're still getting the microfiber completely wet and we're wringing it out. Um, and then I like to always fold the microfiber into quarters so you have eight different sides to use. Um, and then I have my dry one. We're gonna come over here and I'm gonna start by just spraying the counter in the open spaces. Um, now we always wanna work top to bottom and part of our kitchen cleaning is keeping up with cabinets. So you are gonna wanna, if there's above cabinets, hit the above cabinets first um, so you're not dripping down on your clean spot. Now with spot cleaning cabinets, I can see just little spots everywhere, but the majority of the spots you'll see are gonna be the knob and right around the knob and the ledge. We wanna keep up with the ledge because any um, horizontal surfaces, that's what um, the dust clings to the most. So um, anyway, I'm just going around here, getting these little, um, just stuck on things. Kind of scrubbing at it a little bit with my microfiber. Um, I can kind of see some more spots on this one, so. Alrighty, next I'm gonna come down and um, we're still moving everything, so I'm gonna get the back side of here, make sure we get the ledge and the backsplash, um, and then, whoops, that actually took this down, so I'm gonna put it back. Um, and then the reason why we're using a wet cloth is because the wetness is gonna grab all the crumbs and all the little things, and then when we go back and dry it, it's gonna be a completely clean counter. So we're gonna come through here. Now we can still feel the counter with, um, you can still feel your hands through your microfiber. So if you're coming across a spot that is, you know, nasty foods, you know, just stuff stuff that you can't get with your microfiber, you are gonna to need to switch to your blue scrubby. I like to have that nearby, it's right here. So, but I'm just gonna go through, dry the area I just did. Um, and then the most important thing, is to quality check yourself and you do that by looking eye level at the counter so you can see when you're eye level if there was a spot that needed scrubbed which there was over here and i got that and then i'm just going to continue moving on and um move their food out of the way we never ever spray at their food um, or anything like that we always move it out of the way and have a clean surface before we put it back so i'm just gonna I'm going over the, the outlets here just as I go through the backsplash to make sure that they're not getting um, uh, dusty. And then as you saw, I just did the back portion. Back portion's clean and dry. Now we're just coming up here and doing the front part. So I do like to do that on kitchen counters, kind of go through, get the back stuff, put it back in place, and then come through and all you have is the front part left. So we're gonna go through here, dry the front part, and then, again, the most important thing is to always look eye level. And if you can look eye level here, you can see it's a completely clean counter. Um, there's nothing risen on it. You can't see dust in the back or anything. And then, of course, continuing to follow our way down, we are just going to spot clean the cabinets over here. Um, and again, spot cleaning is mostly at the knob and under the knob where the fingers go. Um, but occasionally, you'll, you might see some other things. Um, and you will want to clean it if you see it, clean it. Also, these ledges. You're gonna want to get it every time. Um, so, just getting these. And then, you know what? The more that you get these, um, every time this is your regular house, it's gonna, um, it's just gonna be easier and easier to maintain. So, I'm just gonna go through and scrub. Uh, I'm doing a full wash of this because I see a lot of stuff, but next time it won't be like that. So thank you guys.